those players. You want to follow them. You want to see what they do during the summer. You want to see them develop. You want to see them get stronger and work on their jump shot. And all those things that traditionally you've been able to follow and you've been able to talk about and you've been able to get excited and you've been able to build upon is now changed. And I don't like it. Um, I don't think the Kentucky fan overall likes it. Uh, we, we've had to accept it and it's working because we're winning and we're winning national championships um, or at least one and and so it's the way that it is. The last thing I want to do is take away from the run that Coach Calipari has put together over the last several years. It's been phenomenal. Um, I personally think there's maybe a little bit too much emphasis on celebrating uh, first round draft picks. You know, I'd rather be celebrating national championships. When a new coach comes into the university that you didn't play for, it's, it's different. Um, as crazy as it sounds, you know, I can walk into the University of Louisville's basketball office and feel more comfortable there because Coach Patino's there. And so when a, when a player plays for a coach, there's a very special bond there. And so I, when, when I go to Kentucky, you know, I didn't play against Coach Calipari. As a matter of fact, I played against him. And not only did I play against him, he was one of the better rival games that we played against. He was at UMass. And in the 90s, UMass was, had a great program. And they, they beat us early in the 96 season. And he, and he and Coach Patino are still, you know, rivals. And so for me, he's, <laughs> he's the enemy. He's not the enemy. But, you know, that, that's how it is. And, you know, Coach Robick, he, he scouted against me. And so we have fun with that, but um, it's just a different dynamic.